Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me, Zug. So today, part two of the Traitor's Curse is out, which means we're going to go through the patch notes. So grab a drink, sit back, and uh, let's have a deep dive into what's going on. So there's a new mission coming out, Warren 619 Hab Zone. And the rock goes deeper than we feared, and so must we. Head into the back alleys of the carnival in a new mission. Wormwood agents report increased traitor activity and a worrying rise in stim use. Find out what you can and destroy the modium stim production facilities. So it's going to be a strike mission. And uh, yeah, I'm yet to play it. Hopefully it's going to be quite good. The last one was very fun. Now let's get into what new weapons we've gotten. So we've got... Two new shovels for the veteran and two new shovel, uh, shovels for the ogren. Uh, including this patch, there are new foldable shovels for both the ogren and the veteran. These come with a new special that folds the blade, turning the shovel into a makeshift pickaxe for one powerful strike down attack that then resets the weapon back to its unfolded state after a successful hit. That could be quite interesting. So it turns it into a kind of an axe on a special. And we've got some new chain weapons. We've got a new mark of assault chain axe, a new heavy eviscerator, and a new Cadian assault chain sword. Uh, they've finally recognised that the assault chain axes were a bit naff, and they've buffed them a bit, which is nice. And along with the newer weapons, we've also got a quick draw stub revolver that has a quick loader and a fanning attack ability. A new heavy last pistol. Uh, it's higher damage per shot and slightly longer range for the cost of slower fire rate. So that could be quite fun. Uh, a new Katachan combat blade, a knife that brings more hold controlling capability and sweeping vanguard heavies, and a different light chain that the Katachan Mark III, the jab weapon special, also has also requires some of its lost power and should be able to stagger enemies again on both Mark. 6 and Mark 3 I know I, I read that word for word and it was again weirdly put out and of course we've got stims stims are spawned in missions at random similar to how ammo and medic medicine crates are players can pick them up and they occupy a new dedicated consumable slot okay so I was wrong they're not taking up the grim and uh, scripture slot so this is going to be under 4 on the keyboard or D-pad up on the Xbox um, and the all specs has been moved to 5 to make room for this so what have we got uh, the stims work a lot like the med packs did in Vermitide 2 the primary action is use it on yourself a secondary action to hold aim it on another player and that's to use it on them. And the special action, hold down. For me, that would be mouse button four. Uh, you can gift them to people. And so what are the stim types? You've got a med stim that restores a segment of your health or 25% maximum health. A combat stim that lasts 15 seconds to increase your power by 25% and your stagger strength. Along with rending. And re reduction of peril generation by 33% for psychers. A clarity stim that lasts 15 seconds increases your reload speed, reduces stamina cost, increases attack speed, and increases the following by 25% charge up time for plasma guns, psycho brain bursts, and psycho starves. The speed of which the psycho smite propagates between enemies, speed of which the psycho can throw shards using a sail, and the speed of which the psycho quells their peril. And last but not least, the concentration stim increases your combat ability cooldown regeneration speed by 300% which is four times as fast as usual. And next up, we've got bug fixes. So the veteran tree, let's have a quick look. I'll be doing a separate video for this, but we're just going to have a quick look at this now. Um, what have they done? They've moved talent nodes in the lower part of the tree, so this part, to reduce the amount of points needed to reach the keystones, which in turn should open up the tree up to more opportunities in making a build. This will require talent resets. As you can see, all the talents are reset. 
And we'll have a quick look at what's going on with the Psyker and the other classes. Uh, they fixed an issue where Psyker's Blitz ability Assail and Smite would not get rewielded after using an interaction or being catapulted by an enemy. Fixed issues where switching from charged brain burst to locked brain burst when affected by kinetic resonance would cause the charge time to reset. Fixed issues where the quickening and prescience were both active at the same time. Fixed so that Psyker's Blitz ability Smite always attacks center mass, hit zone, torso, and now only the gibbing is randomly is randomized instead. Uh, for the veteran, fixed issues where the veteran talent onslaught could be triggered by damage over time effects like burning or bleeding. Fixed an issue where the veteran's infinite uh, infiltrate sorry combat ability was interrupted and prevented being used on sprint. Fixed issues where born leader didn't replenish toughness of allies when the player was at max toughness. Fixed an issue where talents weren't reset when running a preset with an incorrect talent version. And we've got a lot of weapon, weapon blessings and tweaks. Uh, I'm not going to go through these line by line because there's about 200 of them. But they, I'll quickly just jump through what they've buffed and what's been nerfed. Uh, the Assault Chain Axe has been buffed. So is the Assault Chain Sword. Along with the Heavy Eviscerator. The Sapper Shovel. The Brute Brain and Latrine Shovel. Katachan Mark III Combat Blade has been buffed. And now for the nerfs. The Blessing Hand Cannon has been nerfed. It's for Tier 4, it's gone from 80% rending down to 60. And what else have they done? Uh, they've buffed and nerfed some enemies as well. Fixed issues where a player could be healed by a medical crate after being eaten by a beast of Nurgle. Fixed the health modifier for monstrous specials in Maelstrom missions from 25 to 40%. Changed the number of demon host kills before disappearances from 2 to 1 on difficulties. Uprising, Sedition and Malice. Demon hosts will no longer spawn in missions on Sedition and Uprising. Uh, demon hosts can still spawn during light out modifiers, though. They've lowered the Rager's health from 1,200 to 1,000. And Rager should now be more easily herded. And they should also be more easily heard as well. That's a very two weird sentences put together. But yeah, there's uh, you know there's a few nice things coming along and the uh, veteran build. And I'll be doing a separate video on that when I've actually got a build up and running. So there we go, folks. That is the update for Traitor's Curse Part 2. I hope you're all looking forward to it. I know I am. And uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, hit that little bell for notification. It really does help us out. And until the next one, take it easy, and I'll see you later.